Hi, this video will show you how to get started with Badger, the key value store written in pure Go. This video will cover how to create your own new database and how to do basic sets and gets into the database. So let's get started. First, we need to go get Badger. You can do so with the following command. Then you can import ba Badger into your Go program, like so. Now we need to create an options variable to specify the options we use when opening the database. The function that we're going to use to open the database is new kv. Note that we use new kv to open an existing database or to create a new one. If we look at the options struct, you can be daunted by the number of parameters there are. But don't worry, we actually given a set of default parameters as a variable called default options. The only parameters we actually need to change a dir and value dir, which specify the directory where data is to be stored. So let's do that right now. We'll create my own copy of badger options based on the default options. I'm going to set the directories to the, a new folder, which I'm going to create shortly. So we actually need to create the folder before we can run UKV. Otherwise, badger and UKV will throw an error. So we'll do that right now. And call the folder data. So now we can call badger.newkv and we can give it a set of options. This returns a key value store and an error. I'm going to handle the error and now we can work with the key value store. Although note that you should defer closing the store as closing is important so then any uncommitted writes can be committed. And yeah, protects you against data loss when writing. Right, so let's do our first basic set. So to do that, we do kv.set. We give it a key, which is a byte slice, and we can also give it a value, which is also a byte slice. If you want to use a string as a key, then it's pretty simple. You can just type cast the string into a byte slice, like so. In this case, I'm going to call the key test. I'm going to give it a value, also a byte slice, based on a string, a tutorial. Uncheck for errors. And now I'm going to try reading this back out. To read it back out, we need to create an object to store the result into. In this case, it has to be a badger.key value item, like so. Then we can do kv.get. We give it the key we want to read from, in this case, test. And we give it the item we want to write it to. There we go. That. Check for errors. And now we can we can print out the value that we just stored by using item dot value. And since this is a byte slice, we should probably type cast it to a string so it's human readable. Oops, sorry. Now, if we run the program, is an error? Yep. Sorry. Run the program. We see it says tutorial, as we expected, as that is what we wrote to the key value store. And we know that storing data persistently, because if we remove this function here, and we only perform the get, we see it still works, says tutorial. Awesome. So now we can perform some more complicated writes. So, you know, usually the data that you're storing in a database isn't just a plain old string or a plain old slice of data, slice of bytes. Instead, you're probably storing some structured data. So in order to store structured data, you actually need to use a format to decode and encode into. So formats like JSON, message pack, protobus, and gob. Gob is built into Go and it is very fast and native. However, for the sake of this example, I'll be using the JSON library to encode and decode structured data. So I've already prepared a struct here called person, which has a name and an age field. And I've also written two helper functions for it. I'm just gonna stick them in here so we can use them. So this encode person function simply marshals using the JSON library, the person, and then returns the data as a byte slice. The decode person does the reverse. It decodes the byte slice and puts it, returns it back as a person. So let's get started using this. So let's create a new person and we'll go for, give a key of Alice. We can do person, name, Alice, age 24, dot encode person. 
now when we want to get it back, we'll get Alice back. Then we'll still keep this, we'll still print out the value here so you can see the raw JSON. And we'll also try to decode it. By decode person, item dot value. We get a person and error out of it. Check the error. Then we can print out a person, like so. All right, so now if we run this program, we can see that we've successfully decoded Alice out of the database by reading the Alice key. And we also can see the raw JSON being encoded in the database. So this is one example on how to store structured data and getting it back using keys in Badger. So this concludes the video. I hope you found it useful and you've learned something from it. In the future, I may upload more videos demonstrating how to use Badger and some more advanced features such as iterators and custom keys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.